Yo, what is going on guys? Sabretooth finally back on Madden Mobile and I know guys it has been such a long time since I last posted a video Maybe like a week or so at least and no guys. I'm not dead. I am not moving on I'm not quitting YouTube. I didn't get cancer or anything like that It's just I've been really busy and I didn't have too much motivation to make any videos on Madden Mobile I mean, there's just not much content that I really wanted to cover and for that reason, I just didn't feel a need to upload a video. I didn't want to just give you guys a filler video full of pretty much garbage that I really wasn't passionate about talking about and none of you guys really wanted to listen to. I just wanted to wait until I found some new content that I wanted to talk about. And today, we're going to be talking about Mad Mobile 18 quarterback ratings, my predictions for those. You guys can see on the thumbnail that Tom Brady... Mobile MasterCard took me a pretty long time to make, so hopefully it looks pretty sick. I think it looks pretty decent and, frankly, quite accurate to what it maybe could look like in the actual game next year. But that aside, I did also want to talk about a few things about the future of this channel. Now, you guys know Mad Mobile 18, it's dying down. YouTubers, they're either not uploading as often or they complete, completely quit Mad Mobile. And views on these videos are just dropping out of like they're just gone during the season I was getting 10 20,000 30,000 views of video which is not crazy but I mean not crazy compared to the biggest youtubers but I was pretty satisfied with that I thought I did a great job coming from nothing and making it all the way up to you here at 25k it, it's pretty crazy guys Thank you all so much for the support you've given me, and thanks for sticking around. You guys are absolute legends for not unsubscribing during this kind of rough patch in Mad Mobile. But when Mad Mobile 18 rolls around, you guys already know I will be making the best videos on the market on Mad Mobile 18, helping you guys make coins, start your teams off, and just have a blast playing that game. And hopefully they make some really good adjustments and fixes to the game to make Mad Mobile 18 a much better game than this year's version. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. First of all guys, Jumbo Packs are in the store, and I know this isn't really part of the video, but I have yet to open up one of these packs, so I just wanted to see what w was in them. I have enough coins, I've been selling off a ton of elite players because for they are really going for a lot of coins. We got a playoff pursuit collectible and the rest are golds. Let's do one more. These packs, I don't think I've ever been in the game before. That's the only reason I'm actually opening them. The description didn't look too great, but we get a Fletcher Cox, which is not too bad, and Antonio Brown. So we made our money back there. Certainly not too bad at all. 90 overall punt returner Antonio Brown. I don't think I've ever pulled that card this entire year, so that's pretty crazy actually. Let's get into it, and we're going to make some predictions on Mad Mobile 18 quarterbacks. Now, guys, Round last video two. I made on the uh, predictions for the halfbacks, and you guys had a lot to say about that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me this time, and I completely welcome that. Thank you guys for commenting, and just make sure to like the video, even if you don't completely agree. I mean, it does take a pretty long time to come up with these ratings, so hopefully you guys appreciate that. And starting this video in the first 30 minutes, whatever you guys want to ask me, whatever comments you have, I will reply to them if they're like repliable comments. So you guys better go down there and just ask me what you want to know and get here early on the rest of my videos if, and I will be answering literally every comment that I can. So let's get right into it. We're going to start it off with the highest overall quarterback for Madden Mobile 18 and it's going to be Tom Brady guys. Last year, it was Gronk on the the Patriots as well at tight end. He was 91 overall. This year, I don't think they're going to go 91 overall for Brady. I think they're just going to go with a 90 overall Tom Brady just because 91 just seems a bit too overpowered for a quarterback to start off the game. So we're going to stay Tom Brady. He's going to get a 99 mobile master, and he's going to get a 90 overall base elite car. The next highest I'm going to say is Aaron Rodgers. He consistently proves every single year that he is one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And certainly he did that this year again. He's staying at 89 overall. And I can see even his throw accuracy deep going up, his awareness going up, and even maybe some of his agility going up. I mean, his Hail Marys are just, 
I I can't even explain him. He's one of the best Hail Mary throwers in the history of the NFL. I mean, I know that a lot of that's just luck, but if you guys see some of the angles he has to make these throws at, you'd see he really is a truly elite quarterback. Next one, guys, is going to be 87 overall Drew Brees. Now, you guys know I am a huge Saints fan, and Drew Brees is my favorite player in the entire NFL, maybe even in the history of the NFL, and I absolutely love Drew Brees, and I think he deserves an 87 overall. He had a great season once again. Obviously, the Saints did not make the playoffs, unfortunately. We keep going 7-9, and nine, but Drew Brees, he showed that even though he's getting up there in age just like Tom Brady, these guys are still dominating. Another 87 overall is going to be Matt Ryan, in my opinion. Now, Matt Ryan, the only reason I'm not putting him higher than Breeze, even though Matt Ryan did go to the Super Bowl, he has not proven himself as much as Drew Breeze actually has. Elite players, you won't even see him under this. He was a gold this year, and I just felt like going up from an 80 overall all the way up to an 88 overall, that seems like a huge jump. So we're just going to keep him at 87 because he had a great year this year and he's been pretty consistent in the past but he hasn't been elite for the amount of time that drew Brees has next one i want to talk about is going to be andrew luck now a lot of you guys might not notice this but andrew luck was rated the third best quarterback in the nfl this year which is absolutely crazy considering the colts didn't even make any noise the entire year and that's just because he's a terrible o-line He's still an elite quarterback. He's going to be an 86 overall. It's really confusing why they don't try to get an O-line and build something around Andrew Luck. It's going to be the same thing that happened with Peyton Manning. He's just never going to have a team around him because they just assume that Andrew Luck can do it all. And he's going to leave the team and he's going to win some Super Bowls. Just mark my words, watch that in happen in the future. Next one, also 86 overall, is going to be Ben Roethlisberger. This guy is still an elite player. He had a pretty good season this year, and I think they're going to keep him at an 86 overall. Just a slight downgrade, because the year before this game released, he had a really good year, which is why I think they put him at 87. I think he goes down to 86. Now, a newcomer to the elites is going to be Derek Carr. I say he's an 85 overall. Derek Carr, he should be elite, guys. He had a really good season, and he is going to be a very consistent quarterback throughout his entire career. He just has good decision-making. He has good throwing ability, and he's got some decent speed on him. You guys can see this is a pretty good card right here, and 85 overall base Derek Carr is going to be a pretty good card, I should assume. Next one, Russell Wilson. I think he's also deserving of an 85 overall. Not, not quite that 86, but 85 Russell Wilson, I just feel like he's a bit of a system quarterback similar to Tom Brady. If he went anywhere else besides the Seahawks, he might not perform as well as he does. He might, he might. You, I really have no idea since he's been with the Seahawks his whole career, but Russell Wilson, he still deserves to be elite, and we're going to keep him at an 85 overall. Now, some guys that just narrowly missed out on that elite tier, the only reason that these guys missed out is just EA never puts a, like, absolute ton of elite quarterbacks right off the bat this year i'm not sure how many there were maybe i don't know six or seven maybe eight which is about already what i have so obviously some guys are gonna just miss out on that and one of those is gonna be dak prescott now a lot of you guys who are cowboys fans may argue that dak, dak prescott should be elite and i think he is so close only issue that i have is he's only been in the league for one year Kind of like Ezekiel Elliott, but I think Elliott dominated just a bit more. I know that Dak Prescott won the Offensive Rookie of the Year, in my opinion. It should have been Elliott, but Dak Prescott, is he? No, he was a silver to begin last season, so I just can't see him going from silver to elite. I think he sits at an 83, maybe 84, so close, but I just can't see them putting him as elite. Another guy that just very narrowly missed out, and really the only reason for this is is I just didn't have enough room. There would have been too many elite quarterbacks, and that's going to be Matt Stafford. I think he is borderline 85. I'm going to put him at an 84. Just very, very close. It's really a toss, just a toss-up. We could see him being elite next year. Really good season, and he is such a clutch quarterback. It's not even funny. 
Next one, Cam Newton's getting a downgrade down to 82 overall. He is not elite anymore, guys. He had a really good season the year before, but this year he just kind of fell off the map. Cam Newton down from 88 to 82 overall. Next one I want to talk about is Phillip Rivers. This guy continues to perform well. The Chargers are just such a bad team. He can never really do anything, but Phillip Rivers, I think he goes up to 83 overall. He had a good season once again, and he's very consistent. Actually, a quite similar passer to even like a Drew Brees almost, maybe with a little bit more arm strength. Funny enough, they were both involved in that exchange that the Saints actually got Drew Brees from the Chargers. So I would rather have Drew Brees, but Phillip Rivers, certainly a good quarterback. Next one, Kirk Cousins. Now, I think he goes up to an 83 overall. He had a good season, and he's very accurate out of Michigan State. Goes from 76 overall all the way up to 83. He had a good season. I was thinking maybe elite on this guy, but I think he just misses the cut. Next one I want to talk about is going to be Carson Palmer. Now, Carson Palmer, I don't know. I think he deserves 80 overall. He was 83 this year, but he had an amazing season the year before. That's the reason why he's 83. I think he kind of fell back down to earth. He's getting up there in age. 80 overall seems just about right for Carson Palmer. Sam Bradford, I think he's going to be the Vikings quarterback. I'm going to go with 76 overall on him. And Teddy Bridgewater is listed as their quarterback here, but you guys know he got injured early on. I don't know if Bridgewater is going to be their QB this year. If he is, he'll stay at that 77 overall. They're not going to mess with him because they haven't seen him play. So really, I don't know who the Vikings QB is going to be. Probably Bridgewater could be Bradford. You never know. Jameis Winston, I think he goes up to an 81 overall. He's having a pretty good career so far. And some people thought he might be a bust. He's proved himself as a solid quarterback. And I think he deserves that 81 overall. Andy Dalton from the Bengals. He's always been literally the definition of mediocrity. I think he goes down to a 78 overall. And honestly, a lot of Bengals fans are asking for him to be traded. I can't exactly remember who their backup is. Somebody remind me in the comment section down below. I think he's out of Alabama maybe. But Andy Dalton doesn't deserve that 82 overall he is a 78 right in the middle of the road another middle of the road QB who's been there for quite a while is Ryan Tannehill this guy a lot of people had great expectations for him and I feel like he could still be a good quarterback but I think he stays at 78 overall just like Dalton did goes up a bit from his 76 previous rating but he's certainly not anything over 80 now, I don't know why I went to my auctions. That was just a misclick. Next one we want to talk about is going to be Marcus Mariota from the Titans. Now, he's going to get an upgrade from his 76 overall. Previously, that was a great budget card to get beginning of the year. I think he matches Winston and goes up to an 81 overall. Next one, Tyrod Taylor, guys. This guy has actually been, like, sneakily good. Um, a lot of people don't really notice or look at this guy as, like, a really good quarterback. But he's actually quite good. I think he goes from 77 up to an 80 overall. And he's another budget beast player that's actually very good at the beginning of the season. Next one I want to talk about, Alex Smith. Another guy who's always just caught at that middle road. Alex Smith, he's a very situational quarterback. He's not going to lose you any games. But I don't know if he has the potential to just go out there and dominate the field like some of these other quarterbacks. I think he stays at just an 80 overall. Next one is going to be Carson Wentz. Now, he was on fire to begin the season for the Eagles. Then he calmed down a bit. I think he goes to a 79 overall. He's a decent quarterback, but certainly, as of last year, Dak Prescott was a much better player. Joe Flacco, he really did not have a good year. I think he goes down to 77 or maybe even 76 overall. I think he'll rebound this year, but he's not a 79 player. He's going to need to go down at least two or three overall. Next one is going to be Eli Manning, and he is kind of regressing as well. He's getting up there in age, and Eli didn't have the greatest of seasons. I think he only goes down one overall to 79, but we could see maybe even a 78 overall Eli Manning. Next one, Blake Bortles. This guy, I don't know. His career really is just falling apart, going from, I think, the number three overall pick down to, I mean, he is not playing well at all. I think he goes down to a 75 overall just before silver only because I don't think any starting quarterbacks this year were silvers 
to begin the season. Even like the Cowboys, they thought Tony Romo was going to be the starter and Dak Prescott was a silver, so that doesn't really count. I think they have to be just base elite golds. That doesn't even make sense. Base golds to be a starter on a team. I don't think you can be a silver quarterback to start on your team. Next one for the Bears, Mitch Trubisky. I think he deserves a 76 overall. A lot of people are kind of on this guy's hype train or they absolutely hate him. I don't think it was a good pick, but I think he'll be like semi-decent. So 76 overall seems about right for a high draft pick coming out of college. Next one, Trevor Semyon for the uh, Broncos. And I think he gets a 75 or 76 overall. Uh, didn't have really a great season. Paxton Lynch may be their quarterback next year. Who really knows what's going on there with the Broncos? John Elway will figure something out, you know. Being a quarterback himself, he always finds good talent. And just last year, they just didn't really have anyone. Jared Goff is going to be the second to last one I want to talk about. For the Rams, he went from a number one overall pick. I think he stays at 75 overall. He really did nothing this season. He, I think he was had like the worst passer rating in the league. Complete trash. Sorry if you guys are Rams fans, but Jared Goff, you know, has not proven himself yet. And finally, guys... Last one, I'm talking about Brock Osweiler. I think he's going to be a 74 overall. I know that that's a silver card, guys, but Brock was just, he was so, so bad. And for all that money they paid him, I just feel bad for Texans fans. But they did just draft Deshaun Watson. So maybe he'll take over for Osweiler. We'll see what happens next NFL season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a longer one, but... You guys deserve it because it has been such a long time since I uploaded. And let me know what you want to see in the future in the comment section. I'll probably make a video in the next coming days explaining to you guys some ideas I have for some console videos. And kind of changing my channel up for this summer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for watching. Go out there, break some of my ankles, stay hungry, stay humble guys. And remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I will catch you guys in the next video. Round Peace.